Well done, we never ever get to bust a one dance. What so one? Comrades Sherman. Comrades on the platform. Comrades Luther Buchanan was like an honorary member of the PHRs and the white one and the women's movement and everything in that party. Big up yourself, big brother. Comrade Mikhail Phillips. Comrades of Enfield, Juna Pen, how do do? I'm going to take an unfair advantage and call the home card. How oh, many of you know Juna Pen Health Center? How many of you know Nurse Murray who lived and worked at the Juna Pen Health Center? Well, that's a female mother. I used to live up Juna Pen with her. So I'm the womb. So if me the home, you must know say I'm here because I want better for the community that I have lived in. I'm not coming from anywhere talking about a community that I don't know anything about. I used to go up on the river up the road to catch Janga. Mapi used to babysit me when Nurse Murray had to go up on the road. So I'm there tonight because the community that I grew up in, I think a lot more can be done for the community. And I've been hearing, and I've been supporting, and I've been working with a man who has the interests of the community at heart, and who I believe can do better for the community. That's why I'm here tonight. You see, comrades, I've been researching both candidates over the last couple of weeks. I start off with the other candidate. I go in on my Google search engine and I put in D-U-N-N. And every time I put in D-U-N-N, it auto-correct and say D-U-M-B. And so I put in D-U-N-N again. And it come back D-U-M-B again. And then I say something must be wrong, so I go over to the Yahoo search engine. And I put in D-U-N-N and it come back D-U-N-C-E. Or in other words, when I tried to look at what the man was bringing to the table, all I could find that he was campaigning on was that he used to sell bag juice in a market when bag juice never invented. could find is that him come from another bay and I've been telling people that if him did business about another bay he would have put a business in another bay but then I started researching the PNP's candidate a man with him Shane Alexis and every time I put in Shane in the search engine it come back and say sugar I type in, I type in S-H-A-N-E and the thing said, did you mean sugar? You see comrades, gimmicks aside, I support Shane Alexis because the things that he is campaigning on are things that resonate with me and things that worked for me. I tell you that Nurse Murray was my mother. She really is my biological auntie. But how she became my mother is, we lived in a one bedroom house, five of us on one bed. And when things got rough from time to time, Nurse Murray would send for her son, who was me. And I would go and stay and live with Nurse Murray so that it would be a little easier on my mother. One of the things my mother and Nurse Iris Murray hammered in my head is the importance of education. She said, make sure you go to school and you take in the learning. So at times when I was leaving the one bedroom house, I never had no shoes to go to school. Well, the shoes never like a hole in at the bottom. I would go to school the same way. Because I recognized based on the conversations 
that education could take me out of my situation. I could also play a little ball. I played a little football. And football is what took me through college. So when Shane Alexis come out here and him say the S is for sports, it don't mean everybody going to become a Ricardo Fuller. But when my auntie used, and you know Nurse Morris, you know she's a church woman, when she used to carry me to church, the pastor found a scripture where I think it was Moses, when Moses said he was slow of speech, and the Lord said to him, what is in your hand? You see, you have to find what talent you have, what you have, and you have to use it to better yourself. So if the man come in and him put some infrastructure in place in other schools and make you learn to be a baller when a team can make Jamaica team, at least you can get a one scholarship and that can carry you through college. I don't have to talk about the H, the H because my auntie is a nurse and you all know where she stands. The A is for agriculture. And let me tell you why agriculture is important. A lot of my siblings who I grew up with in Highgate and Islington and even Junapen are turned off from agriculture. Because a lot of them like me, they grew up and see their parents planting ground and live in a one bedroom house we broke down. And so they get a skewed view of agriculture. They get a view that is poor people. Eh? It's broke pocket people going to agriculture. But I've been telling my friends, that the next set of millionaires going to have dirty fingernails. When you can put $400,000 worth of effort, some of it of sweat, some of it of seeds, in hot pepper, and reap $1.2 million in six months, I don't think scamming can give you a better return. And I think the A and the N kind of tie in. Because we're talking about the new economy, but we're looking to revolutionize agriculture as well. The other day, I went down to St. Elizabeth to some cousins were farming. And I see. So far, don't have sent this. Don't have sent this. Yeah, region five. And when I look at the approach they take to agriculture, as opposed to the approach that we in St. Mary take to agriculture, you find that as an education. When I studied, the first time I got on playing was because football gave me a scholarship to go play and study at Monroe College in New York. Then when I studied them, say, you want somebody to come talk to some youth at St. Lucia about education, I could send a youth there from Jamaica. And when them say, we want somebody to go to Russia to do some studies, them say, I could send a youth there from Jamaica. You see, comrades, education, education is the most proven, or is proven as the most effective tool to lift your standard of living and to lift the standard of living as your, of your families. So, comrades, I'm encouraging you tonight. Now watch the hype and the noise. Don't watch the $5,000. We can hardly buy a book. Don't watch the intimidation because some people come like them trying to take back the politics in the 1970s. I want you to stay focused, steadfast, unmovable, and on the 30th, ensure everybody you can influence goes out and elects this young man as your representative. The word is